So the next thing I did yesterday was watch my way through the Ernst Lubitsch silent films that I hadn't seen. We've added a ton of Ernst Lubitsch, and I'd seen all of the talkies that we've added, but I hadn't seen most of the silents. Um, now, I had seen a few, and I recommend watching all the silents, including the ones that I had already seen. I saw them at, at Pordenone last year, The Wildcat and The Student Prince and Old Heidelberg. Highly, highly recommend those films. Um, but the ones that I watched yesterday, I think all starred Ozzy Oswalda, who is this amazing German actress from the teens, um, sort of Weimar Germany. Um, all of these films are also available on DVD from Kino, so um, that's good. So this is uh, 1918's I Don't Want to Be a Man. It's about a teenage tomboy girl who thinks it's easier to be a man than to be a woman, and so she dresses as a man, but then she falls in love with another man and then the movie gets really queer and then she realizes that men are actually awful and that you know maybe as a woman she can have the nice things of being a woman but she can also still be a tomboy and so it's actually much better to be a man um there are aspects of the film that are a little dated in its gender politics but for the most part it's just charming and super 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 queer so i really recommend it and ozzy oswalda is hilarious um the next one I watched is called The Oyster Princess, and it also starred Ozzy Oswalda. And it's about a very rich man who, um, a very rich American man whose daughter wants to marry a prince. And so they go to Germany to marry this prince, and she has all the things, um, but she has to basically go through a lot of shenanigans to also become a princess. And it's a, a, a high, highly um, pointed commentary on new money and also distribution of wealth um, and the way in which uh, money, titles, and love don't necessarily all fit together easily. Uh, and another great performance from Ozzy Oswalda. The next one I watched was actually my favorite of the, of the Lubitsches that I watched yesterday. This is called The Doll. It's from 1919. And it's about... Um, young man named Lancelot who is kind of afraid of intimacy and he, he is about to inherit a ton of money if he gets married. He is does not want to marry the 40 women who are single and live in the count in the town where he lives in. So he runs off to a monastery. While there he meets a doll maker who's just made a living wind up doll. And as a joke the doll maker is like why don't you marry my doll and bring her back and still get your money but then you don't have to deal with women. Unfortunately, uh, the doll gets broken, and the doll is is supposed to look like his daughter, and so the daughter poses as the doll. Um, meanwhile, she causes shenanigans in the life of this man because she's not a, a doll; she's a real woman, and she's making him see the errors of his of his timid ways. Ozzy Oswalda again plays the doll, and she is amazing, and it has a lot to say about men's fear of intimacy, men's fear of female sexuality, and the power of women. It is a fantastic film, and I highly recommend watching it. It's very short. It's about an hour long. It's so good. Um, the next one I watched was his take on Anne Boleyn. It's called Anna Boleyn. It's very long. This is over two hours. It traces the rise and fall of Anne Boleyn as the wife of Henry VIII. It's a beautiful um, costume drama. Um, Emil Yannings plays Henry VIII. He is gross, as you expect. Henny Porton plays Anne Boleyn. She is amazing. It really, um, again, like these other films, is very pro-woman and very about the sacrifices that Anne made for her country to be this wife to this horrible stupid dude um who was just super horny so this is Anna Boleyn very long again also on DVD from Kino um and then the last film I watched was called Sumerun Sumerun or um One Arabian Night and it stars uh Pola Negri it was one of the first I think with Pola Negri um with Lubitsch and they had a great um, partnership and made many films together. Um, Sumeruman is played, that's a hard name to say, played by Jenny Haskell Visk. She's in several of these Weimar Germany films. Um, she is the uh, Sheik's favorite slave. This is a very, um, uh, what do they call it? Um, 
orientalist exoticist film. There were a lot of these, hence the rise of Valentino, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm just kind of got to go with it sometimes. Um, Paula Negri plays a dancer who wants to join the harem, and the film follows the one woman as she falls in love with a cloth maker and wants to leave the harem and the dancer as she tries to convince the sheikh to let her in as one of his you know, love slaves or whatever. Pola Negri is amazing in it. She is such a unique screen presence. Um, you really get to see a lot of what made her so famous in this film. And if you don't blink, you can see Ernst Lubitsch himself in a cameo as a hunchback. So check that one out. Again, these are all on Filmstruck right now, but you can also get them from me on K by Kino. Um, and that's part of what I watched yesterday. There's one more video coming.